For me, Miss Universe Philippines is a symbol that goes beyond herself. She is someone who embodies kindness, authenticity, and togetherness. With a spirit filled with hope and gratitude. The road to the crown will not be easy. She teaches people how to find beauty in unchartered places and builds confidence in our own hopes and dreams. Every challenge and setback has made me stronger. I am committed to use this story of my journey as a collective experience that people can relate to and find strength in. I want to be able to inspire everyone to achieve their best self through example, innovation, and my burning passion to make my country proud once more. I am not afraid to show my weaknesses, my flaws, my imperfections, just as much as my strengths. I really aspire to be a role model, especially to young women, to not just look and focus on perfection, but to embrace themselves as a whole because that's what makes you special. That's what makes you uniquely beautiful. What is happening here? Am I in trouble for something? I'll try to not move too much. Sound check one, two, three. So I'm a glorified hairstylist at this point. Who would happen to your eye? It's kind of red. Mm -mm. Is it itchy? Okay. Start this thing by making you watch your Oh no. <laughs> okay. I'm having slight flashbacks. Yeah, I shot it alone like a gazillion times on my own. Oh no. Okay, let's watch it, guys. Hello, Universe. For me, Miss Universe Philippines is the epitome of being a phenomenal woman. I'm ready to once again represent my beautiful home, the province of Bohol. As an abandoned child, I never let tragedy define my destiny. Representing Makati City. Oh, oh. I think January to nung shinut nung first ever application ng Miss Universe Philippines journey ko and this marks the start talaga. This year lang nagkaroon ng Kumu editions and nagkaroon tayo ng napakalaking audience with the Kumu Universe. It's bringing me back to that moment where I was so nervous to do that audition video. It is my second national pageant. So I knew there was more pressure on my shoulders. We had to become more vulnerable to so many more people because everybody could watch our Kumu videos. Now it's like the entire universe <laughs> could see your application video. Well, it, I guess it was a bit intimidating to squeeze everything in into such a short amount of time. Considering that I made it into the top 50 and to where I am now, I guess I did pretty good on that first day, I suppose. Well, I did mention the years of growth that have led to the Pauline you saw then, and then of course the Pauline who's sitting in, in front of you now. Like, it's not just you seeing that girl for the first time there and she's perfect, no. She's been through hell and maybe more to get to that point. Celeste, I think, was the last one to uh, submit her audition tape also. I was like, ah. <laughs> it has always been my dream to join Miss Universe and to represent the Philippines in the Miss Universe stage. My plan was to join next year. However, I had a lot of people convincing me that this was my year and I don't regret it at all because I won. <laughs> and you know, it was really the best experience of my life. So I'm grateful that I did it and I had the courage to send my application. Once again, I am Celeste Cortesi, 24, Pazay City. Ciao!
Announcement of top 50. I think ito yung panahon na talaga magkasama kami ng team ko and then Miss Universe Philippines posted. Back then I already took it definitely from my job so I think I was at home doing chores or something like that. I don't know. And perhaps it was Mommy Mikey, my my stylist, designer and uh, mother figure who informed me about it. I had three different group chats all asking me if they you know, leak the results to us or not. And so no, I have to wait with you guys. So I really didn't know what to expect. I was overthinking a lot. Thankfully, with my previous experience, I was in a better headspace than I was before. When I knew I was in the top 50, I was just very happy and I couldn't wait. I knew I had to train a lot and so I did. After the top 50, nagkaroon na ng maraming online challenges na namin ginawa. And I think nag-stand out ang Miss Universe because um, it's the only organization na nag-start ng online presence na napaka-engaging because we ha all have a lot of creativities. going to have online challenges and I spoke with previous contestants also but oh my gosh I did not know it was gonna take up that much time I didn't know the deadlines were going to be so short but I'm so proud of the team that I was able to surround myself with because we were able to execute on time and I just wanted to I want to apologize because I know I had a few videos that needed revisions and stuff like that but you know it was a good experience I am a creative at heart in 2020, we had the ring light series. Don't get me wrong, it was challenging too, but it was yeah, completely different from the online challenges we had to do this year. My team, or the bulk of my team, is actually in Bohol. And we tried to shoot as much as we could in Bohol to showcase as much as we could. But it's kind of challenging to create a concept here in Manila, for example, and then send it to my team in Bohol and then have them edit it in a way that we envisioned it without actually physically being there. Like doing things over Zoom isn't always that um, efficient. <laughs> Especially if the internet connection is not that. I'm not gonna talk about that, anyway. <laughs> well, I was very lucky because my team was very prepared. I was the only candidate they were handling this year, so all the attention was on me, and I was very, very grateful because without them, I wouldn't have been able to, you know, submit uh, good challenges. <laughs> Bold of you to assume that anything was easy. <laughs> Probably the glam, the glam shot challenge. Because of the pose, <laughs> it, was, it was quite painful to, to bend my back to the degree in which I pulled the pose off. But probably the introduction challenge as well. I didn't really know where to start. You know that nervous, antsy feeling you get when it's your first day at school and you really don't know how you should present yourself. I'm really glad that I made that decision to just be upfront about who I was. Passarella wasn't necessarily my strongest suit when I entered Miss Universe Philippines, although I did train for that. But uh, we did a runway challenge by the Chocolate Hills and in the man-made forest in Vilar in Bohol. So imagine doing a runway challenge in heels, naka-inclined pa yung kalsada. But it was a workout, I guess. The runway challenge had the most at stake because obviously my mom, she's like amazing on the catwalk. So whenever I get the chance to showcase my walk and what I can do, I feel like this was one of those challenges that people were really looking out for. They wanted to see how much I improved or how much you know, I've changed or what my strategy is going forward. I was walking on the street and it was super hot and I was wearing high socks and a corset. So it was so hard for me, it was so hot. But I had the chance to work with my dear friend, which is Michael and Dan. 
and you know I always admired him for his creativity and the way he works so it was an honor for me and a pleasure to work with him as well. The challenge that I'm most proud of of course is the self-intro because I was one of the top three for the self-intro challenge and I also loved it because I was able to showcase the free diver in me which I'm actually so proud of and I also liked the swimsuit challenge because as a water baby, we got to do it by the ocean. They wanted me to stand at the tip of the boat. Well, it's wavy, so with my hair done, makeup done, trying to pose and balance there, and we all like laughed and joked to each other, if there's one big wave and I fall in the water, that's the end of that shoot. Because it's gonna take another three hours to get ready again. I love the tourism video as well. I was really pushing forward the necessity to include people in the tourism video, especially the indigenous community as well. Tourism isn't just about having a great day, it's also about what you give back to the community that you visit. It's a collaboration between the whole team. I'm very grateful. They made this journey for me remarkable. This is something na kung babalikan ko right now and kahit tumanda na ako, knowing that yung hard work ng team talagang nagbunga. We all know it is a beauty pageant, and of course, beauty of face is already a given. <laughs> but the strength of character, I think it's very important because they will be in a position wherein they will be challenged. They will have a lot of struggles along the way. Kaya kailangan matibay ang loob and is ready to fight for the country. The qualities that we look for is not just for a beauty pageant, but these are the same qualities that make an empowered, phenomenal woman Filipina outside of a beauty pageant. I'm looking for someone who would make my jaw drop. And this would be in every possible way. Mm -hmm. You know, beauty, brains, confidence, you know, you know, the kindness of heart that's all encapsulated in one candidate. She comes here uh, representing her province and of course herself, her family. But more than that, dapat alam niya, ano ba pinaglalaban niya? What is she fighting for? What is her mission? Yeah, I, I'm looking for a girl that is true, you know, genuine. Sharing their stories, not afraid to be uh, honest. And at the same time, you know, just has this natural confidence that you can see their pure heart. So, I mean, it's given already that these ladies are all beautiful, but I want them also like to be their, themselves, you know? They don't need to pretend to be someone else because their I want their beauty to just naturally radiate from within. Yeah, the toughest call um, during the deliberations would be choosing the last five slots. I know a lot of the girls really work hard to be to be part of Miss Universe Philippines and it's a dream come true for, for them. Kaya it's tough for us kasi kami yung, kami yung magiging reason that somebody's dream will be shattered. And so we don't want to take it lightly. We want to make sure that our decisions are really based on the qualities that Miss Universe Philippines is looking for in a girl. A phenomenal day universe. This is the announcement of the Miss Universe Philippines 2022 final 32 delegates. I remember my pasarela training. He was holding the phone and then we were watching and then my face showed and he was that happy that he threw the phone away. Like, <laughs> seriously, and we were inside the restaurant, so everybody was watching us. Me, I, I was very, very excited to go inside the bubble and meet all the girls. Upon seeing talaga na I was part of top 32, sobrang excited na namin. Mas ginanahan pa sila uh, sa lahat ng preparation. When I found out that I was part of the top 32, I was still super happy because that meant that I was this much closer to the crown. Okay, one step closer to your goal, stay focused, don't get overburnt, long way to go still. How's the mood at the moment? We are chill, so 
many different emotions. I know. We're excited. Sleepy. Sleepy. That's what. Yeah. So excited. All of the above. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely excited. And I'm so happy. Kasama sa mga kami mga Miss Universe. Yeah. What she said. Honestly, you know, I I know people think that pageantry is just a room full of girls ready to catfight against each other. I didn't feel that energy of competition, man. You could see it in the background, palang na parang other girls are offering help to other girls. There are camp sisters there also that really try to lift each other up and complement each other. And even with me, because I I came in as an independent, everybody that I was talking to was just so nice. We're already planning everything. Like our schedules, what we're gonna do, what clothes we're gonna lend each other. Yeah, perfect. We have the same shoe size. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling great. I'm, I'm feeling quite excited and I feel it up to my fingertips, so let's see. The, the thing that really surprised me as well is um, how nice everybody is. Like, generally speaking, from the digital team to the higher ups to the candidates, like, I am not used to this. Like, I'm not used to for two people to be this nice. Because I was really worried, you know, I might, I might be bullied or I might be picked on for being, you know, awkward. I was really surprised, pleasantly surprised that everyone was just so kind to each other. And I was like, oh, okay, sigh of relief. <laughs> This is the start and we are very, very excited to welcome you to the biggest, the grandest Miss Universe Philippines pageant 2022. Thank you very much everyone. Ang mga girls natin starting today, kaya brace yourselves, girls, because I know it's gonna be tiring. Because every day there will be schedules, you will have to wake up early and sometimes sleep late at night. But this is a um, kumbaga, a preview of what's gonna happen in this universe. Nakatuwa kasi this is something na different experience ko from other pageants na we are housed in a hotel in a bubble na talaga and para kang nasa ano eh, isang reality show and this is what I like about Miss Universe Philippines kasi uh, you will really get to know each other. I remember the very first day of the lock-in. What happened was by breakfast time, I brought two luggages with me to breakfast because I was thinking, oh, we, maybe they might you know, ask us to go here or go outside. I didn't want to embarrass myself of being underprepared, so I kind of showed up with two luggages. I was like, calm down. Uh, I think the main core of the digital team and creative team is that we want to tell more meaningful stories because we believe na each girl talaga minsan kahit kausap ko lang sila na fascinate na ako sa mga personal stories nila what more if we have the platform to tell that diba we got to talk to all of the girls whenever we want and it's the best feeling honestly to be surrounded by so many friends <laughs> they always have us ready for anything we're prepared. We're prepared. And of course, we have each other <laughs> to keep their kids up. <laughs> yeah. was able to showcase my motorcycle passion. And I think that's such a good angle to put in a shoot because behind the gowns, behind the cameras and all of the glitz, we all have our own personalities and that really gave us an opportunity to showcase that. I remember it was such a long shoot. We finished around 9 or 10 p.m. but I remember I had so much fun. I really liked the one uh, that we did in swimsuit. So it was really fun and definitely one of my favorites. They didn't necessarily expect to become that close and that attached to the certain girls because I was so focused, I guess. To my surprise, I actually did like get really close to, especially my roommates like Chantal and Lou, for example, and Jodaida, my forever TikTok companion. And I never thought I'd be doing TikTok at all. And then I was able to do that because of Jodaida. Like I kind of started everything. <laughs> 
Kuchara. I told them it's actually Kucharo. Oh. And I've been hearing Kuchara. And like really, like I said before, I like food, but my middle name is not Spoon. <laughs> there is a mysterious fascination with the sea's waves and its continuous ebb and flow. Of her vibrant splendor. We have learned from the sea's enchanting depths. I'm slightly annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> so Charlie, one of the directors, told us to use the phone on cam and to just like use the app and make it as real as possible to tap on certain products that you'd like to add to cart. So I did all that. I also pressed check out and it was Charlie's phone, which I used for in the video. We ordered like 10 yoga mats and then also a plastic motorbike for a kid. Charlie, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll pay you back in, in sweets. Hindi naman natin matatago na napakagaling ng lahat ng nasa likod ng camera na to. Wow. <laughs> Pero yeah, the creativity, the leadership of everyone here, collaboration between, of course, the makeup artist, the hairstylist, the styling team. Talaga, yun yung bumubuo ng mga nakikita nating shows. Kaya naman, pasalamatan natin yung mga team behind it. Kasi kami, kami lang yung nakikita nyo on screen but off screen. Marami pang story ang dapat kayong malaman dyan. <laughs> To end, powerful, good job. Four, three, two, and good job. Four, three, two, and good. Can we take more shots like this? Kahit tatlo lang. Para sa akin, feeling ko after ng pageant na to, for sure some of them will really go out there and enter the, you know, showbiz or commercial. So it's a training ground for them. And we really want to produce a good content, not just for um, the organization, but for them as well. Pwede kasi nilang gamitin yun when they, you know, after the pageant, they could use it as like for castings and all. Basta, we really want to produce content that you don't usually see sa mga pageant. So definitely global level. If I would summarize our relationship with the girls is nandun yung respect nila, respect namin sa kanila. At the same time, we're having fun. And gusto namin kasi sa shoots, ayaw namin yung dragging yung vibe. So as much as possible, we hype them up. Happy birthday to you! Birthday na ni Shaymin! Birthday ni Shaymin! Ngayon! Get, get out! Don't stop, keep it moving, put your drinks up! Hey! I might not have the best voice. I'm not gonna speak for Kat, I'm not gonna speak for Jewel, kasi baka may hidden talents pa sila, but they're not. Lady Gaga, meron talaga akong hidden talent, pero dapat hidden lang siya. I was just chilling with um, the other candidates and that's when I kind of met Jewel and Pupa actually and we were talking about rather you know personal things off the bat. It really brought out this kind of lightness and ease that, that was missing for a couple of years. Oh my gosh, we are you two on a diet? No. No, it's so bad. I had seven donuts yesterday while waiting for her to finish shooting. My body is my mental block. Oh, easy. We're not going to be able to take it. Three, two, one. The item I bought from Lazada that you need. <laughs> it's not just like my first national pageant, it's really my first ever pageant. I'm working extra hard para maka maka level ko naman yung skills ng mga other girls. Pero tapak ng my mind, parang ha, nakapasok ako. Oh my god, nakapasok ako. But I'm, but I'm really happy. I, I, I will always say this in mga live streams ko. I came here to be real and not to be perfect. The theme is uniquely beautiful. So I can just be myself.
Kasi sa totoo lang, ako talaga yung pinakamaliit dito sa group. Pero hindi ko siya tinitake as a disadvantage. I think as, a, as an advantage kasi para napapansin talaga ako. Ako yung naiiba sa group. So, ayun. Um, nagiging confident ako lalo kasi parang hindi pinapapil ng Miss You na iba ako sa ibang candidates. Yes, I'm 27. I'm the tita of the batch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't include that. That's okay, you can include that. You can include that. This is my last chance because of age limit. So this is the second time I've done a pageant in my life. I've learned a lot beforehand. I did another one, a national pageant before, and there was a big learning curve there. But now I have a lot more experience. I think I have clarified who I am. My values are a lot more clear as well. And yeah, this is the last shot, so I'm going to give it everything. We love that. You know, everybody was thinking we were against each other because we are title her older. But we got very close because of TikTok. So <laughs> we did one dance and after that everybody started to call us the Trinities. We actually got super close and even up until now after the pageant, we're closer than ever. So I honestly really, really, really love the Gala Night, if anything. This is not the regular fashion show, so you can smile. But again, please don't look down. The crown is not down, huh? It's straight ahead. And give it more whatever. You know what I'm saying. Shifting from elegant to edgy, working with different brands in one night. A new crown for a new queen, ladies and gentlemen. One of our 32 official delegates will get the chance to wear our new crown on April 30th at the Mall of Asia Arena. I will definitely see you all there. But of course, this was the big reveal of the new MUPH crown, the Lamere and Majestic crown. I really have nothing to say, but it was indeed majestic.
I feel good. What? I feel good. What I loved actually was the bus rides every time from the hotel or from the resort to the different places. Way, way back before. Now, if it's like raining hard, you will see um, a division of the color of the sea. So it's like very visible. So every time it rains hard like that, there's like something over there. <laughs> Because Joe was so kind and so spontaneous and so makulit to give a, a tour or, or to act as our tour guide and to really help us get to know her province more, which of course, if the roles were reversed and people were in Bohol again, <laughs> I would love to do the same. So Jewel, thank you for that. Yeah. Oh, I'm not for free, huh? <laughs> like there's 50 pesos payment every minute. <laughs> Welcome to Binak Bedford. With Miss Elokospa, you feel how passionate she is with the province she's representing, that it's just contagious. First of all, we are very honored to have you here in the province of Pinobosur. We will try to uh, make your stay here more uh, enjoyable and uh, experience the Ilocano hospitality. Sure, Ilocosur! They really toured us around Ilocosur. It was my first time to be there, first time to visit Vegan, for example. And I really felt that nasulit namin yung four days. Because actually, it seemed so much longer, but it was really just four days. respect with what the government has done to the place, how they were able to preserve the heritage. It also got me very interested in just the degree in which they keep their history and their heritage uh, preserved and intact. And you can see that it's the initiative of the people, of the local people themselves, to pay homage to their heritage time and time again, to step into their role really as stewards of their stories and their products. The tenacity and the, the quiet strength that um, 
one of the weavers of Inabel had. She was Uver Horton, uh, that was her name, and she was this, this proud transgender beauty queen as well. And she was quite young. I think she was she was around 16, and um, we kind of um, went through similar experiences. We had to grow up quite early on. That's the beauty of travel and tourism. I guess it's not just about the product of the Inabel that made its way into my heart, but also the stories that kind of weave themselves with the product and knowing that there are actual people who benefit from what we're doing at Miss Universe Philippines, helping the tourism industry, helping actual individuals. Um, they're unloading our national costumes. I'm looking for mine because mine's not in a box, so I'm kind of worried. But looking at these, my fellow delegates' boxes, they're huge. I mean, look at Bulacans! Oh my god. This is the challenge with the costumes because they're definitely gonna weigh. Some of them might weigh us down, but you know, we've prepared for them. We've eaten our breakfast. Hopefully, we have the energy to carry all those heavy loads. Kailangan ko kasi ng jump shot. So, kung doon, kaya. Pwede naman. Jump shot lang. Saan? Saan banda? Sa window or sa... Doon, doon. And... Sige, 3, 2, 1, and go! Back! Oops! Yun. So, we have to be careful with that. Okay. Up here! Ganda! It's kind of hot, like really hot. Go, ready, go! Tahana, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Do some movement. Okay. Vegan is scorching. It's so beautiful. The sunsets are gorgeous. But of course, that means you know it's gonna be really, really hot. So I was wearing 18 kilos, and I was trying to make all of the layers work. Okay. So the theme of the national costume was pearls, but I felt every bit like a warrior in that costume, um, walking out, and you know, I collapsed. That was the very challenging part, but I got up again after and I walked that runway. Stop here, stop that. Oops. Oops. You good? You got it, you got it. You got it. You got this. And I was able to gather all of the energy, all of the willpower that I had left, and I realized I had never been so passionate and so driven about anything ever in my life. And so that was a very personal victory for me to the point where I gathered all of my energy. After that walk, I collapsed again. <laughs> Everybody had to rush to me and it was very scary because it kind of felt like a heat stroke was approaching, but um, you know, Every, the whole Miss Universe Philippines family you know, rushed to my side and really took care of me and really babied me. So that, is a, that was a whole new experience for me. And, and so again, it was just a huge testament to how much I can physically and emotionally stomach. You know, I never realized that I was this strong and that was really the highlight of my trip. <laughs>
in Ilocos, it was actually the first time I started really doubting myself. Though I tried not to, but I did read some comments online saying that, oh, Miss Bohol, she's um, losing her shine or not a buna na siya and stuff like that. And of course, that hurts a little bit, a lot, actually. No matter what I did, it never seemed enough. But it was in the first night in the locus or during the dinner where I was where I accidentally read that comment and I shed a tear and I was like, no, not here, too many people. <laughs> too many people will see me cry. Even though I consider myself confident, sometimes you also feel like you're doubting yourself, especially when you're tired or when something happens. But that's really normal. As long as you don't entertain that kind of thought and you just move forward from it, and you just give your best, just keep training, just keep talking to the people that love you and support you, and all these self-doubts will just go away. It was then and there that my team told me, no, Pao, you're conserving your energy. Like, what you're doing in Ilocosur is promotion, but it's also not judged. So they really reassured me, and they reaffirmed in me that what I was doing was actually right. It's a marathon, so I have to really conserve my energy until the end because that's where it's gonna matter the most. Even if I was exhausted, even if I was super, super tired, every night before going to bed, I would always go in the, in the sala and call my trainers and do my usual trainings, Q&A, you know, a lot of questions and before sleeping so you know it was very busy but it was the time maybe we we would be able to relax but i didn't want to <laughs> it was a like maybe one week before the coronation night so i was really telling myself just push and do this one last time and before the coronation night so you're gonna be ready 100 percent off guard when I entered the room for the preliminary interview because I knew that Harnaz was going to be there at the pageant at some point but I wasn't expecting her to be there at that stage early on so when I went into the room I was just like play it cool <laughs> the current Miss Universe is here in the room with us I think it went well relatively speaking I hope they the judges agree Oh my god, I need a... Apparently I forgot that it was live. So I shared something which I would have been okay if just the panel knew, but now apparently everyone on the internet knows. So it was about flatulence. Make of it what you will. I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> I was so excited to meet Arna. She was right there, so I was like starstruck, starstruck at first. I got a positive feedback from the judges, so hopefully that meant okay. Hi. <laughs> it was just me. I mean, it was nerve wracking because there's a lot of people who are inside, but at the same time, I was just, you know, stand out as a girl who really desires this, has a passion for this, so. Ang but kung tama kung sabat? Nga ah. Kay dogalag ko bala. Pero kung sabat ko man, wala mako gusto or anything. Pero hindi lang ko sure kung tama kung sabat. I know I did great. I rock that. <laughs> I'm confident. I'm really confident. Thank you, Lord. You're so tiny. I know. Now 
Um, like my knees are still shaking. Yeah. Know, it, were you really like exhilarated in yeah. there? Oh my god. Yeah. But I got a positive feedback from the judges, so hopefully that meant okay. You just gotta be yourself and answer the questions from your heart. It was okay. I kind of messed up the first question. Well, not really messed it up, but the nerves got the best of me. But I think I managed to make and improve my way through. I I don't know. I'm out of words right now. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm out of. Um, I'm speechless right now. Overwhelmed, mixed emotion. But I'm happy that I'm seeing the judges smiles whenever I talk, and I think that's more important than anything else. <laughs>'Cause at this point of the competition, a lot of us were feeling I mean, not just the contestants, but of course the Miss University team also we felt you know, oh, fatigued in a way because you've done so much already and then you're reaching the point of the competition where it actually means the most. All smiles for in Second match. I I know. Because although like the online challenges are important, the branded shoots, but the preliminaries down to the coronation is the most important aspect of the whole pageant. So this is when all of your training comes out, when all of your mental game and preparations come out also. This is it. You are all beauty queens. And I expect no less than excellency on stage. No less. That's why you're all here. You're the top I was more confident in myself with all the training that I had and with learning the ropes as I went along the bubble. But at the same time, I was also bracing myself for the worst, preparing myself for the worst outcome. I'm really, really, really happy. Um, you're fast learners, you know, you're, you're all driven. Um, and you will be more driven, you know, because of these activities. I know you have grown so much as a person. And we lift this up to you. Ikaw na pong bahala. You have said that whatever we ask for in prayers, believe that we have received it, it will be ours. Thank you so much, Lord. And we pray this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Go We help each other in terms of 
how we look. Like we check if the back part or the front part of your bikini or whatever dress you're wearing is covering everything right, if your hair is in the way. So we do check up on each other. And if you're really close with someone, it's like an innate feeling that you already have or an innate thing that you want to do because you know that it's a competition. But if you're really close with someone, you also want them to shine too. And that's something I really felt also backstage during the preliminaries. <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna come back strong. What are problems, Sasha? The silver Jessa, what are problems, robe and belt? Okay. We got this. So we practiced, okay? Miss Amis. Miss Amis. I loved my dress for the press presentation, but it was very tight. <laughs> my blood is not circulating in my arms. I was, I was on stage and I was just waiting for the go signal so we could just go up the stage. And then um, I remember they were asking the girls to take a photo, but at, the t at that time, I could see only black. I couldn't see anything else. So, Oh my gosh, it was really scary and yeah, I just went off the stage and then someone just gave me water and they really helped me and took care of me, so everything is good. There is no backstory on my prelims gown, but I just wanted to make it different because people are used to seeing me very sexy and showing a lot of skin, so I just wanted to show not just people, but also myself, that I can be very elegant and classy at the same time. I just wanted people to listen to me and look at my face, that's all. So our Miss Kumuniverse is Makati. This year's Miss Cream Silk is Makati. She is the face of Essentials by Bello. Makati. Every time that I feel like I'm not gonna win a special award or that specific special award, that's when my name gets called. I felt a lot of gratitude and flattery from the brands and um, just the whole organization that made that possible. Okay, if I have to be completely honest, um, at that point, me and Michelle were already very close. But of course, it's still a competition. So when I was on stage, my name was never called. 
and it was only Michelle. That was the time I really had self-doubt. But right after that thought, I just removed it from my head and I just continued my competition. I just continued improving myself and I was actually very happy for Michelle. Na feel ko yung pressure and all the challenges parang nag sink in siya during the preliminaries. During this time kasi of course a lot of people is invested na who will be the winner. So what really made me doubt, of course there's a lot of people um, commenting a lot of things. Parang ako, I really don't want to read it pero at some point syempre nandiyan ka with your phone. Hindi may iwasan na mababasa mo yung mga comments nila. And at some point, parang naniwala na ako sa kanila na ang sabi nila, I can't be Miss Universe. And I think that's one thing na looking back na I shouldn't have listened to them. Yeah. And I think now, it made me someone stronger. <laughs> I'm going to cry, cry. Go now, go now. Heels. I just think that everybody is just a little bit more on their game. So they're very focused on um, wanting to do better as opposed to having fun, which is how it should be in a competition, you know? Well, actually, things kind of slowed down a bit from having a super hectic schedule, making more on rehearsals now. Everything is getting more exciting because we're actually rehearsing now for our dance number. It's been a fun ride, and tomorrow is going to be the real thing, and I'm so excited. Ladies, please open up. Kawawa yung sa likod. Basta pagkailangan dito kayo, open up. So that the other girl can be seen. Okay? Put it in your system. international lang nangyari, eh, ba? A lot of queens pumunta dito sa Philippines and kaming candidates were very fortunate kasi nagkaroon kami ng chance not just to see them but to meet and actually talk to them. Are actually talking to any of the title holder queens, it really inspires you to do better. But if I were to name moments, it would be when we had a talk with Demi. And of course, I mean, she didn't have to, but she wanted to express why she is and why she does the things that she does and why she is the way that she is. And it was that talk that reminded me why I'm here, why I'm trying to gain a platform. And it's because I want to really influence positive change. And that's one of the most powerful things that Miss Universe has to offer. Ask yourself that question. What are the things that inspire you? You know, I don't think that the things that excite us are just completely random. I think the things that excite us in life are most probably correlated to what we are called to do in life, what our purpose is in life. And for me, that purpose is fighting for other people. That might look very different for each and every one of you, and that's okay. But I want to encourage you guys to find that purpose. She was able to speak to us in such a way that I felt like I've known her 
and followed her journey for such a long time already. I think my biggest takeaway from her is that we can't just be a spectator when we see something wrong happening. Like we can't just not do anything. We have to do something at least. First time ko mag ano, para na starstruck. Like, iba yung feeling ko kanya. I connected with her. <laughs> One of you, I know, will be walking on that stage representing the Philippines, which is such an incredible honor to be a representative for your country. Um, but it also comes with a really, really great responsibility. I represented Pasay because I was born in Pasay before moving to Italy. So for me to have the coronation night there, it was really important. What does it feel like walking with our wings? Imagine we're like Victoria's Secret models, which is yun talaga yung peg at na-achieve. The last uniquely beautiful woman to clinch the final spot in top five is Final things you want to say before getting up there? I appreciate the digital team, our team leaders, you guys. Like you guys have been so nice and so easy. 
easy to work with. You've been so understanding, lenient, and so easy to speak to. You know, and that's one thing I'm going to miss after this competition because we're all going to do our own thing after tonight. So yeah, I'm gonna miss you. I don't know what I'm feeling. I'm feeling everything. I'm feeling a mix of emotions. I don't know how to deal with it. So I'm just gonna scream it out before we go on stage. Well, actually, parang hindi pa siya in sa mind ko. But now, all I think is to do my best in the final, um, the finals. So I really hope na all of my hard work will pay off at the end of the day. What's on my mind is my family. Um, I know they're heading down here na from Bulacan, so they're all on the big bus all together, all 50 of them. So I can't wait to hear them and their support for me. <laughs> Let God's will be done. Yeah, and everything happens for a reason, so whatever happens right now, we're lucky we have each other. Oh my God! We're going to slay the stage! Yeah. Another lay! Another slay! saw me during prelims, I forgot all of the blocking. So I just hope I don't mess up on live television. Watch me! 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 Watch
Mabuhay Pilipinas! Tonight, we will be crowning a new Miss Universe Philippines. Now get ready as we narrow down your favorites and choices because we shall now announce the names of our top 16. It's you, Nueva Vizcaya! You guys good? Remarkable siya for me because the first swimsuit done, I really felt confident and going out there knowing that ang dami daming tao sa MOA Arena and not just that, maraming nanonood from um, other parts of the world, the universe rather. <laughs> Actually, I was the one to choose everything about the gown. Of course, I really wanted to work with Walter Guva because I've known him since I came here in the Philippines, so I really chose him to be my designer. I wanted my gown to be celeste, which in Italian means sky blue. My dad named me celeste. Um, after I was born, he was holding me and then he looked at the sky and he knew my name would be Celeste. So I really wanted my gown to be that color and it was really in honor of my dad. group of women on stage, only 10 ladies will remain in the competition. The official results are now in. Here we go! From 100 and plus applicants down to the top 10, you can't discredit anybody that's there because everybody put in 200% of their efforts. If there's something I've realized in life, you expect the unexpected. <laughs> Pasa 
City. Tagig. will be the new Miss Universe Philippines. Looking beautiful, Miss Tagi. Hi, Pia. I'd like to say good evening, Moa Arena, and good evening, Universe! When we trained with my Q&A mentor, which is attorney JV and JT Salud, they wanted to bring the funny side in me. And no hugot nila yon. Whenever I talk about, parang pag nakinikilig ako. So, sa, nasakto, ang tinanong nga sa akin is about the eight mountains. You already climbed eight mountains to date. What's your favorite so far? You know, one fun fact about this is I've climbed eight mountains with my eight-year boyfriend. And he's watching with us tonight. He is so supportive. And what mountain that I love, all eight mountains that I've Climbed because all of that is very memorable because I'm with him. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> wow, special mention. Nakakatawa kasi whenever I go out of town, parang they call me, ah, siya yung girl na may eight mountains. I'm happy that I get to have this parang mark na, ah, that, that girl. Ibig sabihin, I was able to make you laugh or make that situation light during the casual interview and I was able to deliver it. When I look at Red, it's something that makes me powerful, makes me confident. Promotes that any woman can do whatever she sets her mind and heart into. I've known that through rest, I've been able to achieve this moment right now and at the same time strive for more as a woman. My voice was to be heard whether people wanted to hear it or not. I knew that I deserved a good future. And so you know what, Pia? I bet on myself and I believed in myself. I do love choosing fear. I mean, choosing bravery over fear because that's when you really are brave enough to conquer your fears and that's something that's so important for every individual. There is something that my mom always taught me is be grateful for your family, for your loved ones and the people around you because when you're grateful and kind, people will be kind as well and grateful for you. And given my experience as a radio host raising social political awareness amongst the youth, I think it's about time that it take it up to the next level. There's really so much more to Bohol and the Philippines that meets the eye. I think I'm gonna try that. Thank you, Miss Bohol. Company, here are this year's top five. Everybody in the top five deserves to be there. What's going to happen next? Because everybody performed at a maximum level, at the top of their game. They're shining like brighter than the sun. I don't care, I don't care. It's our moment too. the other top five. Those are really high. Oh, keep crying, guys. I'm like, to prove that you are deserving of the crown. What is your biggest insecurity and how do you address it? My socioeconomic status has been one of the I remember after the top five Q&A, I, I don't even remember going back stage. 
I kind of like mentally just blacked out. But I just remember kind of walking towards the backstage to relax myself, and then that's where I found um, my other sisters like uh, Vanessa and Jedida. And Jedida kind of like grabbed my hand, and she was she was like, "Oh my God, your hands are so cold! Like you should relax." It was kind of apparent that I was kind of like <laughs> freaking out, not internally anymore, but like uh, the nerves were kind of finally bubbling up. To, towards the surface. I didn't really remember what I said during the top five right off the bat afterwards. Uh, Vanessa came up to me and she was like, oh, you did such a great job. And I was like, well, Vanessa's like super smart and she liked me answer, so I guess I didn't do too bad. <laughs> Those are the moments when you really, really appreciate the sisterhood. What is that one life-changing decision that you've made? And what was its impact on your life? The life-changing decision I've made was to join Miss Universe Philippines again. I really felt that it was kind of a play of fate at that moment because I felt like that question was really meant for me. My answer to that particular question was just like magic in a way. Like it's, it's very difficult to describe it, but it wasn't something that I rehearsed. It wasn't actually something that I, I thought about prior to that. It was really just me honestly and in the moment passionately sharing what I was feeling after hearing that question. And of course, my voice cracked uh, after the first sentence. Pa lang. And I really told myself, no, don't cry on stage. Don't cry on stage. Kay. If, I, if I shed that first tear, tuloy tuloy na yan. So I was like, no, I can't cry, I can't cry. I never did I think that it would have such an amazing effect on people and that it would somehow connect us and that people who experienced body shaming before would reach out to me and thank me for opening up about that. So it was an amazing feeling. And yeah, like I said earlier, it really felt like fate. If you could stop time for a day, how would you spend it? If I could stop time, I would spend it with my family, especially my mother. I would say the Q&A. I was very scared about it because you never know what they will ask you. And I know so many people, they were counting on me. They were just expecting me to give a good answer. And so many other people, they were expecting me to give a bad answer so I wouldn't win. So I was very scared, scared about that. And it was also one of my favorites because I was able to really answer from the heart and give a very authentic answer, and it was about my mom. You got this phone. Oh, this is the other side. Congrats, babe. Okay, okay, okay. 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 I'm not ready to cry. Yeah, I'm not ready to cry. Yes. 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 Yes.
when I heard Pia mentioned uh, Miss Universe Philippines 2022 second runner up the gig. As I mentioned, so I'm grateful na ako to be part of top five. Kaya upon hearing that, I'm very happy. Miss Universe Philippines first runner up is Miss Misamis Oriental. I don't really have control over that anymore and destiny really does, you know, play a hand in these kind of things. So I already told myself that uh, I, re I already made it. Miss Universe Philippines charity is I actually, I actually thought that I could win, that I could have won, honestly, after the entire performance. Even now, looking back, I don't think I could have done anything differently. I gave it my all, I gave it my best. And after answering the, the top five Q&A, I was already happy. Like, I told myself, Universe Jesus, it's up to you now. I gave it my all, and whatever happens, I'm happy. And I remember we were sitting in the corner, and they were rehearsing the top two. That was the moment that we really manifested that we wanted to be the last two standing. It gives me chills when I realize, because of course you put yourself back into the actual moment and in the manifesting part, that it just, you know, it's, it's a nice feeling. The uncertainty of things and the excitement at the same time, it was really clashing. You can't really describe it. All I can say is that it, it, it happened faster than it felt. I felt like it took a lifetime before the announcement happened, but it was like, it was fast. The new Miss Universe Philippines 2022 is... Pasay City! A lot of people expected me and Celeste to be rivals, but we ended up being the closest. Pageantry isn't rivalry, it isn't a competition, it's about sisterhood, it's about lifting each other up. Again, to be able to share that experience with Michelle, it was really amazing. We even said something to each other like, whoever is going to win, I will be happy for you. And that's, and that's really amazing, the fact that you look over winning the crown and you're just grateful for where you are and with who you're standing. Well, I would just like people to understand that, first of all, to be on that stage is not an easy task. There is a lot of work, there is a lot of training, and every single candidate got so many bashers. Me, myself, I was victim of so much bashing because of my past, because of my past performance and everything. But what people don't know, it's, it, it's really what happened in the backstage. Like the hard work, everything you've been through, they don't know that and they just judge you for your performance and they don't see what happened before that. They don't see the work. Us queens, we show ourselves on TV willing to be judged 100%. It pays nothing to be kind sa lahat na napapanood nyo. And I hope fans and everyone who loves watching pageant, they'll just be appreciative of how hard we worked 
for everyone. I, I just don't really believe in, you know, using somebody's insecurities to make somebody else feel better. It's really not superficial and it's really not just a coronation night. It's an entire journey full of growth, full of happy moments and sad moments. And at the end of the day, I would hope for pageant fans to realize that beauty queens are human too. My baby. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? When you look at the crown now, mm -hmm. what do you want to say I just feel so much happiness. All the times I was struggling, the times I worked so hard, the times I was so tired that I didn't, didn't even want to train, but I did. So it reminds me of all of this, and I'm just so happy and grateful to be able to be Miss Universe Philippines.